Hi everyone, Susie here, and I'm going to be doing some seeds starting today. Uh, I'm going to be doing pansies. It's about the middle of January, and I just want to take, take you through the steps that I take for starting my seeds indoors. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm boiling my water. So let me just stop this. Sorry about the beep, that was a loud. Okay, and then just, I always say this because it's, it's steam, so be really careful. And this is really convenient because my plant room is in my garage. So then, now, yeah, pardon the mess, and this is the reality of my plant room. Um, I got this about half full of potty mix, and I'm pouring the water in here. Be careful of the steam. And I'm doing that just basically to sterilize my potty mix. My biggest issue are fungus gnats. Let me just set this aside. Actually, I'm just gonna set it on the ground here. So then, and this, this does help, not 100%, but enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this all stirred up. I don't know if that was enough water to make this to the consistency I like it. So we will go from there. Okay, so it's still steaming. I've been mixing it quite a bit. Sometimes it's hard to get um, it off the bottom. It kind of goes in the corners, but I can just slowly mix it as I get to the bottom of the pail here. And again, the reason why I'm doing this is because it's it's a real it's already a sterilized potty mix, but it just helps with the fungus gnats with the boiling water. If I was seed starting outdoors, I wouldn't worry about it, but indoors. It poses a big issue. Um, also, I like to pre-moisten all of my potty mixes just because uh, the water absorbs a lot better when you go to water them. It doesn't just bubble. So at this point, it's nice and crumbly, but it's saturated, but not sopping wet. Looks pretty good. And I try and mix up only what I really need for my seed starting because otherwise I just have to repeat this process again later. Not that that's a problem, because you know, I'm kind of getting a facial right now with all this steam. But that That's a nice consistency. So now what I do is, I don't have a cover for this, so I had to make do with this. I'm just gonna put this wood board on top. I'm gonna let it sit here for about 30 minutes so that steam and that boiling water can really incorporate into the potty mix. And then I'll take you on to the next step. Okay, so the seeds that I'm going to be sowing in this video, they're all pansies, just three different kinds. And I'm just going with pansies this year. I, I did pansies and violas last year. I just felt that the pansies blooms were a little more spectacular. Uh, that being said, I, I am a Minnesota gardener these will only last for so long in my climate just because last year my summer the whole growing season we pretty much stayed in the the 90s and high humidity and the pansies did not like it but if I'm sowing them it's the 21st today so I'm hoping by the end of April I have some blooms I, I do have to harden them off but I can plant up some containers and just have some early color just just until I can start planting my other annuals about the middle of May, about the, I usually wait till the third week of May. I'm kind of a little cautious that way. And uh, I'm saving myself a lot of money by doing my own seed sowing. So I can't wait. These, I think they're more wine colored and some yellow. So I, I can't wait to see how the, but the three things should look really good together. So the three that I'm going with and I ordered these seeds from SwallowtailGardenSeeds.com. This is the second year with going with them. I've had great germination from them, so I'm just really happy with them. Not sponsored, but just thought I'd let you know. The first one is, it's kind of fun to say, Frizzle Sizzle Burgundy Pansy. The next one is uh, the Lemonberry. And um, the Raspberry. So yeah, so I can't wait. The next thing is, is I need to figure out what to use for containers. So the way I like to go with seed sowing for almost everything, is so just starting them in these little containers and then I will go along and prick them out when they get their first set or second set of true leaves. 
and then I just make sure that they have drainage holes. I just used a scissor. It's not heavy duty plastic on this, but yeah, I just use a scissor, poke a hole, be careful so you don't poke yourself. I do save the covers too for all these containers. And this I think just had a salad in. I had some other big ones that I'm using for other stuff. Um, and so I like to keep these for the humidity domes and I like to reuse and recycle where I can. And the trays that I mainly use, and the reason why I'm not with this is because I'm running out. I've, I have some other perennial seeds started, but these are heavy duty trays. I think this is a third year now for using these. Awesome drainage. And I had purchased these from a greenhouse mega store online and I, just super quality of plastic. So if I could, I would go this route with everything, but I think I have 12 of these trays, which is good enough. And especially when I can reuse this. The next step is just label. So I just, enough that I can read it. It doesn't have to be everything, but I also put the date down because these are saying that germination is in 14 to 21 days. I can be a little impatient with seed starting. So a lot of times I'll only be the third day. I'm like, why aren't you growing? That's just me, I'm a little impatient, but that will just give me uh, just kind of a timeline. I need to be better about keeping a journal too, just to when I start things, because I, I didn't last year and I'm just kind of second guessing myself about when I started some seeds. But yeah, so the other thing is, if I didn't state it, I have this tray here that there's no drainage holes in this because I my plant room is indoors and I don't want to make a mess. And I'll just catch the water. I can fit, well, I was hoping to fit three and I will. It might be a little crowded. My only thing is I, I don't want it to shift too much where it disturbs the soil. So I, I might have to use two but I'll, I'll try and get by with all three in here. I can grow more, right? So, all right. So I'm thinking that my potty mix should be about ready to work with. So and then we'll, I'll take you to the next step. I think I forgot to mention this, but uh, I used to use seed starting mixes. I just found that they got a little too expensive for how much you get in a bag. So I've just gone with potty mixes with no fertilizer in it. And I just, when I'm seed starting, I don't want to have fertilizer in the potty mix because the seed has everything it needs in the seed at that time. And I just find that if there is a fertilizer in it, they just get leggy. And that's just been from trial and error. So what I'm going to do is just start filling this up. The one thing about potty mixes on that note is you do have a bigger pieces in there. When I find them, I just kind of put them in another container and I'll just put them in other mixes or outside of my garden. But when I'm potting up, I'm not too worried about it. But some of them, that is what you can sift it. I'm not going to go that route as I'm not going to baby my seeds that much. So I'm going to fill it maybe about three quarters of the way full. And just kind of lightly pat it down, not too much. I don't want, I want good air, circle, good oxygen in there. If you pack it down, it just, it, it's not really good for the seeds. This way, when they do start rooting, they have a nice loose soil to get the roots in and be very happy at the start. But you do want to pack it down somewhat so you don't have air pockets. Um, so the consistency of this soil potting mix, I just, it does clump, but it goes, comes apart really nicely, but I can't squeeze water out of it. So to me, that's a really good consistency, not too wet. All right, that looks good. And I had about three quarter, and only reason being is because it's not very deep. So when my leaves do come up, I... I don't want them to, when they hit that humidity dome or the cover, because that's not very deep either, but just to give it enough room. And the, and this is not their forever home. I will be potting them up. So there's that too. So make sure um, this is the raspberry that I have the right one.
and there's a 25 seeds in here. Not many. So I'm hoping half of them germinate. That would be really nice. No, it's not going to be give me a lot of plants, but it, my spring <laughs> display for gardening, I know is not going to be fantastic, but it's just enough just to break up that gloominess out there. Because when spring comes, yes, it's glorious, but everything is just so brown and so if you can see, I mean, not horrible seeds. I've had smaller, but still enough just to, oh, it's upside down. My luck is I tip them all out. So I'm going to put all of them into the palm of my hand. And so I'm just going to kind of grab a little and just pinch and hopefully space them far enough apart. That way they don't compete for light and there's good air circulation. Makes a really nice strong plant and it's easy to prick out too. And again, I'm, I'm going to do all of them. Think happy thoughts. And if they don't turn out, I'm, I'm really not out anything because um, I'm only wanting maybe in a month of display from this. I know that's not a lot, but you know, it's, it's good enough for me. So I'm just going to lightly push it down just to make good contact with the soil. I'm not smushing it in there. Just being careful. Sometimes I have seeds stuck to my hand too. And then I always do this as I use vermiculite. Um... It's really fine, but it holds the moisture really nicely. And the kind that I, I think you could get eight quarts, that's the bag I have. It goes a long way. And I just got it from my big box store. There's not a certain brand that it, it's vermiculite. So not too much, and I'm not overly concerned about the depth of um, the seeds. Some say to just sow on top, don't cover. This is what I do for all of them. And I've had great results this way. So next thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and water it lightly. And this is just a recycled bottle. I, I like the slim ones, it fits my hand better, with a bottle top water, where you can get that from Amazon. And I like this just because it's a light flow. It's not going to disperse the seeds. And since my potty mix is already pre-moistened, I'm not going to water this too heavily. I'm just making sure that the vermiculite is wet and so are the seeds. And then I'm going to go and cover it. There's one done. I just have a tray off to the side. And this one is the lemon berry. So yeah, it's January 21st. I'm definitely hoping that I can get some blooms sooner. I'm hoping for an early spring. The, the temp outside today is negative two. Our weather has just been really weird. It's, we go from being 37 degrees Fahrenheit outside to the next day dropping to uh, like negative two, negative five for a high. Those are our highs. It's crazy. And then it goes back up and then it drops down to the point where normally we get a week to two weeks of kind of that Arctic frigid air, but this has just been all over the place. There was one time in December that we everything was thrown at us. We had fog, sun, 50s. I think we hit some 60s in certain areas. Winds that were about between 60 to 80 miles an hour. That was intense. And then the temps plummeted and we had sleet and snow. It, it was an intense day. And then we had some tornadoes, if you can believe that, in December. That's 
That was weird. So right now we have some snow. I would say about, about six inches out there. That's fine by me. It doesn't need to do any more than that. Just making sure that this is a lemon berry. Let me know if you have started any seeds for the season. The crinkling of that paper, I don't know. And the smell of the potty mix. Does anyone else like the smell of potty mixes? I just, just gets me ready for spring, but I love the smell of soil. I'm kind of weird. Always have. When it came to seed starting, when I first started, I was just thinking I was going to do it wrong. I overthought it. When I was at a fourth of an inch, eighth of an inch, and and you know what? It it all works out, and it depends on the seed too. Some seeds are just so easy and can germinate anywhere, and others just put up a fuss. And if some of the vermiculite goes into my potty mix here, it's okay by me. Just loosens it up some more. So I, I kept back some tulips, tulip bulbs. And I have them in my fridge so I'm not I would like to pop them up at some point and get some sort of a dis to see if it works display that way along with these I think that'd be kind of neat it's the first year I did that I think I just ran out of steam for plant I don't have many I want to say maybe 20 there might be a little bit more than that so I was also thinking about potting those up in a container and getting them going and seeing how that works I've never done that before I had a lot of seeds in my fridge that I've been putting through a chill cycle. So we'll see if that helps out. I've had some poor germination on some of my perennials. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sow this last container of pansy seeds and then I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put them. Okay, so this is where I put my seeds. I was able to, my pansy seeds, I was able to put the three in the tray. One is a little bit tipped, but I think it'll be okay. So this tray has no drainage holes. It, it looks lighter on here, it's not. It's a really dark area, this is a cabinet of mine. Um, I do have grow lights attached. They are not on right now, they do not need to be on because pansies need darkness to germinate. So even though it's a dark area, I go this route. So and just put another tray on top. And I know that sounds weird, but that's what the some seeds do need darkness. And it says, if you're not sure, it says on the packet, it says with newspaper, but I'm fine with this way. Uh, at 68 degrees and germination is in 14 to 21 days. My plant room, I can control the temp. So I do have it at 68 degrees in here. So that should be perfect for these. Other thing is, is because this is in a very remote spot right now and not with my other seeds, I just have to be a little better about keeping an eye on germination and also to keep on checking on the moisture level with the seeds because I definitely don't want them to dry out. But like I said, sometimes this is an area that I do forget about, especially when I have it covered. I'll push it back a little bit too. But the thing is, is um, because there's darkness, if my seeds start to germinate and I'm not good about it, they will start to stretch and look for light somewhere. And, um, and that's not good. You don't want leggy seedlings. So the minute that they do germinate, those humidity domes will come off 
and, and then I will put them about two inches under grow lights. So with this area here, because it's pretty far, I'll probably put some books underneath just to raise it up so about two inches from the lights just so they don't stretch. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it informative and hopefully you start some of your own seeds and let me know how that's going for you and hope you enjoyed and bye for now.